Right now, I'm on the North Saskatchewan River. Alberta Environment and Parks is conducting a population estimate study on lake sturgeon in Alberta. And what we're doing is we're, we're capturing fish, we're marking them with a little tiny pit tag, and we're releasing them. So I'm going to guide them into a sling here. And he's ready. All right, perfect. So we usually just scan, scan the front here, just under about the second dorsal scoot. This, this fish had never been captured before. Okay, I'm gonna put this pit tag just below the second scoot here. Just back it off a little bit. Put her in and then I'll just scan them one more time just to make sure it's in there. Yep. Other little bits of information we're uh, collecting too is we're measuring our sturgeon and that'll give us an idea of what recruitment looks like in the province. So the mark recapture program uh, using citizen scientists started in about 1991 and it's been running for many years after that and uh, we really value our citizen scientists contributions to this program. So I joined the sturgeon tagging program this year to be able to give back a little bit, to be able to share some of my knowledge with the AEP professionals and hopefully contribute a bit to being able to allow us to continue to fish for sturgeon so that my kids and my grandkids can fish for sturgeon. So Lake Sturgeon in Alberta, they're very slow maturing fish species. Females, they, they don't start maturing till probably their early 20s. So it's very important that we keep these fish living for a very long time. And one of the ways to do that is to ensure you're practicing good fish handling skills, like keeping the fish level, not dragging the fish up on shore, keeping the, your fish or keeping your fingers out of the, the gills and eyes, keeping your fish wet, not playing your fish too long, trying to get it in, like use some heavy gear for that. In 2023, Alberta Environment Parks will be conducting a population estimate on the South Saskatchewan River, and we will be looking for citizen scientists.